and Pokemon fans of the world, it's your boy Mega Crasher coming at you pumped up, coming at you hardcore, and I'm coming at you guys back again once again with a brand new video, and I think you guys know it is about that time where it is two more Tuesdays! I mean, today is Tuesday, isn't it? Oh, it sure is, man. And I got two tremendous, fast paced, mega sized videos slash battles I gotta showcase you guys. You guys are going to fucking love these battles. Both of which come from Rebel Penguin 20. And I gotta say, baby, big shout out to you, man. And you guys are gonna be in for a fucking treat, okay? It's the invasion of the Megas! And let's get this started, baby. So, what we got going on, we have ourselves our first matchup. It is a Generation 7 mono type match, okay? So, that means you only got one primary type to work with, and you gotta go from there, okay? So, Rebel Penguin 20 is packing the mono bug types, while we got Bandy Morty packing the mono water type, baby. So, let's see what's gonna take place here, man. So, Rebel Penguin 20 is packing what looks to be the Mega Beedrill. We also have ourselves the Durant. We have ourselves cute little Red Bobby. We also have ourselves the Volcarona. We got Yen Mega, although you, uh, Mega is in its name. It's not a Mega Evolution. We also have ourselves a raccoon. Can you imagine Mega Yan Mega? Too many Megas, baby. So, uh, now we get to Banny Morty with his amazing water type team. We have the Lantern. We got Polytone. We got the Shiny Gyarados. Oh, shit. I need to give me a Shiny Gyarados in Pokemon Go. I'm so sick and tired of seeing my friend Jonathan waving it around in my face, man. It's like, dude, you're not going to be the only one that has it for long, yo. Like, I'm going to get one one way or another, whether I get one myself or I take yours, you know? And then we get to Empoleon. We got Keldeo and the Azumarill. So, ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seatbelts. Are you guys ready for the hype? Because now we get into the first battle. Let's aim for 30 legs and let's do this. So let's get into this, boys. So we got Durant leading off versus the Empoleon. Oh, shit. Here we go. Uh-oh, we got Entrainment. That means... Oh, shit. Now it's got Truant and... We go for the Stealth Rocks, the Empoleon does, but it's not going to be able to move the next turn, so it switches out and goes into Politoed. All right, baby, what's going to happen here with the Durant? Well, it stays in, and the Truant makes it loaf around. So Durant goes for the Thunder Wave, and it's going to paralyze the Politoed, and the Focus Blast is going to take Durant down to the Focus Sash. And I'm like, yo, very, very nice. So he withdraws the Politoed, goes back into the Empoleon, and what's going to happen? And the Truant allows for it to loaf around yet again, and now we've got another Thunder Wave going on, so this Truant Durant is just passing around statuses, and that Scald clearly is going to take it out, all right? So, let's see what's going to happen next. Now we got Beedrill coming in. Uh-oh, and it takes some damage from the Stealth Rocks, and Pulling on is scared as fuck, so it switches out, goes into the Lantern, so what's going to happen? Oh, shit, it's Mega Beedrill time, and it goes for that Drill Run. Oh, shit, son. That's going to do a lot of damage here, but it hangs tough, okay? So it goes for an X-Scissor, and what the hell? Lantern hangs out with 1%, and it goes for the Heal Bell. Big mistake, champ. Big, big mistake, and you're going to see why in a moment. You are going to see why. You ready for this? Fell Stinger, and I got to say is that Fell Stinger is a very situational move, but when the situation is right, uh, yeah, that is GG for you. It is game over, because what Drill Run, what Fell Stinger does is if this move manages to knock out the opponent, you get a plus three attack increase, man. And given the fact that it's a base 50 power, I believe last time I checked, uh, and you get Beedro with stabbing to death. Oh, fuck. No, 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 no. That is too broken for words. You don't even need Sword Stance for that shit. So, Lantern, bye bye. You're done. And now we got Empoleon. Empoleon, what are you gonna do? Oh, shit. You ain't gonna do nothing, son. You ain't gonna do nothing, man. And now we got Keldeo coming in. What is Keldeo gonna do? Well, it's gonna take that poison jab and get completely dominated. With that one at KO, now we got Gyarados. Oh shit. This is where it gets good, ladies and gentlemen. So you guys are probably thinking, whoa, 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 whoa. As long as this is a regular Gyarados there, you, this should be able to survive, right? All right, moment of truth, baby. Here we fucking go. Is Mega Beedrill going to be able to hang tough against the big Gyara? Or what's going to happen here, man? What's going to happen? What is going to... Big mistake! Why would you evolve your Gyarados into Mega Gyarados? That just makes it super effective, the bug type move against it, and Gyarados goes down! Oh my god! And now we got Azumarill coming in. It's only hoping to call- And it doesn't even Oko it with that Aqua Jet! He lives in 3% of that Azumarill! It's Poison Jab to Oblivion, man! No chance in hell to survive that! But Polito with that drizzle, what's gonna happen? It's gonna go down to the X-Scissor, and that is gonna 
be the game. Woo! Shit, son. Oh my god. That was like... Oh my god. That was perfectly executed there. Man, oh man, a lot. That was a great game by both competitors, but... Rebel Penguin 20. Like, that was like the sweep of the fucking ages right there. That was a legitimate 6-0 to zero swap. Well, not like 6 Pokemon of his versus his 0, but like, you know, uh, his opponent had 6, okay? His opponent had 6, and then because of Mega Beedrill, now he's got nothing. He's got zilch. So, yes, from that perspective, it's a 6-0 sweep because you go from 6-0 to zero and you're done. So, yeah! What the fuck did we just see, man? That was absolutely crazy, man. But ladies and gentlemen, we ain't through yet. Are you guys ready now for the second battle? Because I sure am. So now, ladies and gentlemen, we get into the second match. We got Rebel Penguin 20 facing off against Iban 106. Now, Rebel Penguin 20 is filled with Mega Evolve. Well, I wouldn't say fully filled with Mega Evolve hype. I mean, but check this out, though, okay? We got Mega Sceptile, we got the Zoroark, we got Mega Sableye, we got the Mega Obama Snow, we got Ash Greninja, which counts as a bit more of a buffed-up version of a Mega Evolution because its base set to hold gets increased by 110 rather than 100, and we have ourselves Primal Groudon, which is like another variation of Mega Evolution, but, you know, kind of like a different kind of concept and whatnot. It triggers right away. Uh, but anyways, let's get back into it, okay? And a band is packing the legs of the Mega Mewtwo Y, we have ourselves Blissey, we have that Mega Rayquaza hiding behind that big, thick, ever so tanky Zygarde complete, we also have ourselves Mega Bayonet, and we have the Primal Kyogre, so are we going to be seeing the Primals face off in this battle? Well, let's go ahead and find out, let's get set for the second battle, shall we? Well, here we go, I am smelling massacre here, we got ourselves Primal Kyogre, and we got the Mega Sableye, and Kyogre goes to that Scald, and that's going to burn the Mega Sableye right away. But it goes for that Cosmic Power, ain't fearing that burn, no way whatsoever. I, I can't wait to see what's going to happen here. What is Mega Sableye going to do against a Primal Monster in Primal Kyogre? It's going for Cosmic Power again, it does not care. But I would highly recommend you, you restore your health with that Recover if you got it, man. I would highly recommend that, that, that Scald going to take you down to 11% health. Yep, there you go. Play smart, buddy. Play smart. So, let's see what is going to happen next in this exchange. Let's see what's going to happen. Pro Kyogre switches out and goes into Mega Minette. Uh-oh. And we got Recover yet again. All right, man. What is going to happen here, though? Oh, shit. Here we go. And, okay, we got the Protect going on. That's a very interesting choice. It's Whoa! Oh, shit! Mega Minette with the Spectral. Oh, shit. Oh shit, I think I might have just discovered something new that I can use for Balance Hackmons, Spectral Thief, Mega Bayonet, how you doing baby? Oh shit, here we fucking go baby, what's gonna happen here? Oh my god, he's trying to steal the boost though, he's trying to steal the boost and Mega Sable ain't having any of that, so now we're getting the Primal Ground on, here we fucking go baby, here we go, and it goes for the Spectral Thief, it's gonna break the balloon, Oh! That does a ton of damage, and that, of course, is because of Life Orb. So Mega Bayonet switches out and goes into the Bliss Bliss, and because of Imposter now, it transforms. Now we got the Heat Crash going on, and that ain't gonna do anything. It's not gonna do any damage, but we got the Sword Blade going on to the Primal Grana, and that's not gonna do that much damage, and it goes for the Thousand Arrows, and that is also not gonna do that much damage, despite being super effective at all, but now we got the Sword Blade, and that with the crit is gonna finish off the Primal Groudon, though. Oh, jeez. But now we got the Zoroark coming in, so what is going to happen here, baby? We got ourselves a Solar Blade again, and that is going to not take out the Zoroark. But we got the Tail Glow Shenanigans going on. Oh! Wait a second! You made it to... Oh, Zoroark has a simple ability, though, because it's already a max special attack, thanks to uh, Tail Glow. Boost the special attack by plus three, uh, and then, you know, because of simple, uh, doubling the uh, effects of stat drops and changes and shit. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's a GG, man, but it looks like it ain't gonna be able to last too much longer, because that Solar Blade is gonna outspeed and take out that Zoroark. Oh, shit. But now we got the Mega Sceptile coming in, so what is gonna happen here? It goes to that Leaf Storm, and whoa, Blissey, AK Primal Ground, hangs tough, and it's staying in and going for that Solar Blade, and that's not gonna do really any damage to Mega Sceptile, because I have four times resistance, and it's gonna be going for that Leaf Storm again, and I think... I might have an idea as to what the fuck is happening here. Yes, we got Mega Bayonet coming in, and it's gonna get blown back by that Leaf Storm, contrary and all. It is now plus six. Are we fucking seeing this, man? We got Mega Rayquaza coming in, 
and we're gonna drop a Draco, and that is gonna be the end of Mega Rayquaza. Had it had a Focus Sash, that might have been enough to derail Sceptile, but now we got Zygarde coming in, and Zygarde with that mean look. Okay, baby. But we got the Draco Meteor. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. You gotta be joking. Now we got Kyogre coming back in, and it's not gonna survive that. No way. Not a plus six. Super effective stab, overpowered Leaf Storm. Now we got Mega Mewtwo coming in, and yeah, that's fucking, that's just, <laughs> oh, that, that's how you execute this, a 6 0 Mega Sceptile sweep right there, man. Holy shit. Oh my god. <laughs> that was something big. Actually, no, 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 it wasn't just something big, it was something huge, man. Like, we normally don't see those kind of sweeps in balanced hack months, not from Pokemon like that, because you normally see, like, crazy overpowered shit like Mega Diancie, Pixelate, Extreme Speed, Fake Out, all that shit, uh, and with Mega Rayquaza, with the Aerial Eight and similar sets like that, uh, but damn, man, Mega Sceptile, I am telling you this now, like, Mega Sceptile is a mod to watch in the Balanced Hack Mods tier. Woo! Here I am sweating up a goddamn storm again, I just got back from the gym working on my back spread, man, so with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this fucking video. I hope you guys enjoyed two more Tuesdays because this was fucking awesome, man. Rebel Penguin 20, thank you very much for these two battles. Great games by both the opponents that you have faced off against and great, great game by you. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and these two battles. And if you guys did, then make sure you smash the hell out of the like button. Uh, it is, like I said, at the beginning of the program. Let's aim for 30 likes. And if you want more content like this, then make sure you subscribe, support, stay positive, and don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, to turn on notifications. That way you will be the first to know when you see me upload next. And if this is your very first time I review my content and you have yet subscribed, what are you waiting for, man? Hit the sub button up real nice and join our community today, baby. Because we are trucking it big time on the highway to 5K. We have been growing as if someone injected steroids into our channel. Like, how is this happening, man? Like, I am, like, just up and down the boards thankful so much for, to, for all this, man. Thank you guys so much. So... With that said, ladies and gentlemen, hope you guys have yourselves a damn good one. I love you, every single one of you guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next upload.